Hey, this is Tom for a combo, um, and we've got here the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. Um, as you can see, it's a big 10.1 inch tablet, and like the original Samsung Galaxy Note, it is compatible with an S Pen. I've got Kobe here from Samsung, who's just going to take us through a couple of the apps on the Galaxy Note 10.1. We're going to look at S Note and Adobe Ideas, so if you'd like to take it away. All right, let's fire up S Note here. When you open up S-Note, you're presented with a bunch of templates. We've got a magazine template where you can actually import video and photos into it. There's a sketchbook template where you can draw. And because the S-Pen has different levels of sensitivity for pressure, you can sketch and shade everything you'd like to do. Greeting cards, notes, meeting notes, whatever you like. We're going to open a black one. Actually, let's just make it black. Okay. So from that tool, you can select and clear all. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Okay. So two notable things that you won't see in the S Memo software with the Note, but on the Note 10.1 is with this icon here. We've got the equation editor, and I'll show you that. So I would write here a function. And it okay. will recognize that and give it to me here. Okay. And if there's a mistake made, I can clear and even write a simple equation. And it will even give me the answer. The other thing new in the SNES Note software is the shape recognizer. Where most of us cannot draw a perfect shape, I certainly can't. My circles look like squares. S note gives me a perfect circle every time, a perfect square, a perfect triangle, or if I want something a little off, it will do its best to keep up with me. We've also got Adobe Sketch, and that takes advantage of the S Pen's 256 levels of sensitivity pressure-wise. 256. 256. Okay. We'll just open this guy. I don't, you know what, let's start another one. Which we have my pen. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. So you notice when I lightly brush on the screen, my line is thinner, but as I add pressure, my line is much thicker. So, if I were to do a drawing project, and keep in mind, I am not an artist. But I play one on TV. No. I can shade it the right way and get a more realistic looking picture. Uh, I've also got adjustments for moving. I can adjust the size via a slide. I never have to use my finger to make an adjustment here. Opacity, so now, so now my line is lighter. And of course, change your color to whatever you like. Just like any Adobe product, you can use layers. So I can draw on top of something else and hide one layer, promote another layer. Photoshop users, uh, Adobe drawers will love this. So that's the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. Thank you very much. And, uh